Oh, das will ich was jetzt. Is it ready? Ready. Hi, welcome to this new video. Today it's about shooting on the rope because I really like rappelling and climbing, as you know. And today I decided to try to combine it with shooting. So I'm now in Austria with this special guy. <laughs> he's a shooting instructor and yeah, he's also doing YouTube. So make sure to check out his channel with his uh, colleagues. He's doing quite some impressive content in German. Mostly in German. Okay, and what do you do? Well, um, in, the, in the German area, there was a lack of um, qualified YouTube channels who do like gun reviews and uh, weapons training, hunting stuff. And so we just thought, let's, let's do it. So today we want to combine rappelling and shooting with a pistol. So at first, of course, is it possible? Yes or no? I know it's possible because... I already did it. You, you already <laughs> did it. In the military and I was doing a lot of it with, uh, with training guns, with uh, training markers and no, it works. But now with really shooting at the rope or on the rope uh, is what is really interesting. Yeah, if you have different entry, entry points yeah. and uh, you need someone securing one window or yeah, if it's a higher building, it's a level, top level um, and you just want to like maybe have an entrance point on the window as well. So you have one guy on the rope securing, one guy opening the window, different methods of course. Yep. Yeah. I also brought some special gear. Some of you might already know it. For example, I have a lot of stuff from Anti Textile because they make a certified harness on the hip and also a certified chest harness, which is fully integrated in the blade carrier. So, for example, here I have a tie in point up here. The main reason for this is when you have the tie in point on your hip, you can fall back when you have like a heavy backpack or heavy blades and with this high tie-in point your center of gravity is a lot higher and then you will sit in the rope differently and you will not fall backwards. So really cool, it's certified and really easy to um, get in the full kit and be ready to work on the rope. The more classic approach today for you was uh, using a certified hip belt mm. and placing all the gear you normally use and just place it on top of it. Yeah, that's the method uh, I was used to as well. Um, yeah, it's a pretty common thing to just rope and secure window or something like that. Yeah, that's really nice, especially because you can use the normal gear you always use and then you can combine it with the equipment. Exactly. It takes longer to get in, but it also works. With this uh, specialized system, it's mainly useful when you know you do a lot of rope work. Yeah. And regarding the devices to repel, uh, brought from Skylotech the Spark, which is an automatic locking device. Uh, also combined it with this special carabiner from Osteoarpine. It's really easy to use it under full stress and with cold hands or big gloves. And this device can be opened without removing it from the carabiner. So losing it uh, is really unlikely. And yeah, those devices are relatively uh, yeah, specialized, you can use it with one rope and you have this big chunk of metal for this one purpose. So it can be good, a good choice if you really know what you're doing with one rope and you only need to uh, shoot through a window or get somewhere and hang there for a longer time. <laughs> Cleaning windows. Yeah. Cleaning windows, for example. And yeah, but I mainly prefer for rappelling also today. I was using my rappel extension, it's a combination of two carabiners from Australpine, the 5050 again, and this slider auto lock carabiner. Both really easy to use, and with the tube, you have the advantage you can use two rope strands. So when you do like moving through 
forest areas, you just want to place the rope around a tree, you can repel really easy with two strands, you can use different rope diameters, it's cheaper and more uh, multi-use, versatile, more versatile, and this cord is for the Prusik. Prusik is basically like a third hand, so it's a friction hitch, and it will hold the rope. So with this, you are able to repel with one hand only. With this, it's recommended to use two hands. You can also do it with one hand, but here, with using only one hand is a lot safer. And when repelling and using a pistol, it's good if you have both hands, because when you only shoot with one hand, uh, reloading and uh, cleaning malfunctions and so on is a lot harder to do, especially when you hang in the rope. And don't want to talk too much, but uh, we also tried shooting a rope, because maybe this question also will appear. Uh, because you Why? <laughs> Why though? <laughs> uh, one thing is because when you sit in the rope, maybe you will move the pistol over the rope, could be possible to shoot it. And maybe if there's a sniper <laughs> watching you, well, well, he I could hope, shoot the rope. I hope you're qualified. <laughs> if, you, if you hang on a, on a, on a, on a rope I hope, with, a web, with a gun, I hope you're qualified enough that you won't shoot your own rope. Oh, 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 he's treffen, oder? The first shot only touched the rope. Huh, okay. Oh, okay. Schauen wir es mal an. The second shot almost hit dead center. Ja, schon ein bisschen beschädigt, ne? Bitte. Oh ja. Auch hauptsächlich der Mantel beschädigt. Aber es ist nicht zweimal angekratzt, ne? Nicht, nicht die Mitte, genau. Ja. Aber ich glaube, man kann es auch nicht wirklich. This one hit directly through the middle. Ich glaub schon. Hm. Oder meinst du nicht? Schwierig. Ja. Aber. Ja, wirklich. Der kann wirklich durchgegangen sein, glaube ich. Ja, aber schon sich bewegt. This one also was a good hit. Laut, oh, das, das könnte durchgehen. Das war mittig, sein. weil da sieht man das Loch richtig. Ja, ja, ja. Das war jetzt genau die Mitte. Also Seil durchschießen würde ich sagen, geht gar nicht. Ja, keine Chance. Also mit 9mm nicht. Ich würde das nochmal mit 223 drauf. Ja, ja doch, du hast glaube ich mehrfach getroffen. Ah, ja, schau mal, wie das der Franz ist. Three shots hit the rope directly in the middle and you can see the holes. So siehst du mehrere Löcher, ne? So the bullets clearly did not cut the rope. Now let's try 9mm on close range. Willst du 9mm vielleicht auch immer auf die Nähe schauen, ob es dann direkt durchfetzt? Oder ob ich Anhalten oder was? Ja, quasi anhalten. Bereit? Ja. Da, da, Ja. Ich hab doch. Ich glaube schon, dass es durchging. Weil hinten ist der auch der Mantel richtig aufgerissen. <lacht> so this was also a clear hit. Also gerne von mir aus auch eine Folge. Okay. Schießt dieses Seil durch. Yeah. Now the rope is clearly damaged. Let's give it a weight test. Keine Chance. Und noch eine Sache. To demonstrate how strong ropes are, I will cut it with a knife. Oh, look, here unten. It's 
Das ist nur ein eingeschnittener Faden. Ich habe Angst. Dass ich nicht mehr auf den Arsch brechen. Was? Also ehrlich. Was ist das? I don't know. Ja. Ah, jetzt. Ja. Ja. Krass. Retro. Aber Retro. ey, keine Chance kriegt man das so weit hin, dass es so nur noch einen Faden hat. Ne? That's it. Thank you for watching and thank you for your time. And Always welcome. Patience. Come back. <laughs> yeah, I, I will, sure. And make sure to check the channel, give a subscribe and like and whatever if you like. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.